we're heading to Manchester and the wondrous Truck Brewery. This seems so long ago. This is an IPA with Ruwaka and Mosaic. What's it going to be like? Check out the review to find out. Welcome back to Rocker's Beer Review. Today we're going to be going to the Track Brewery in Manchester uh, for this IPA. It's called Seem So Long Ago. It's got Rewaka and Mosaic. Now Rewaka I think is a New Zealand hop. Mosaic obviously we know what that is. We're listening loads of beers. 6.5% this beer is. And what was quite interesting before I started the video I thought I had a quick look at the can and everything and uh, I was intrigued by the best before dates of it because if you look at that there hopefully that will focus there. So a quick look there, yeah. As you can see, it's it was canned on the 22nd of February this year, but its best before date is the 22nd of June this year. So that's like got a four month from the canning to the best before, four months. Now, a lot of beers have about a year, and there's also quite a few beers that if they're not a year, then they'll be six months at least. But that's four months best before date. I don't know whether there's any reason for that, um, whether it's to do with the hops, whether it's just track just believe they're going to drink it fresh and after you know after four months that you know the taste will deteriorate a little bit i'm sure if you drank it within over six months it would probably taste fine but let me know in the comments what you think about that we always told to, to drink fr beer fresh you know so but i wonder whether that's four month gap is you know it's, it's too short let me know in the comments what you think about that so this was quite an expensive beer as well i know it's about track i find them quite difficult to get hold of they usually they sell out really quickly and they're not the cheapest i mean this one was five pound 80 it's got it on there five pound 80 this was from the uh books and uh, bottles and books in Bristol. Uh, but yeah, it just seems a little bit, a bit expensive for tracks. So I've only had a few, but every ones I've had so far have always been really good. So, Rewaka, what do we know about Rewaka? Well, as I said, I think it's a New Zealand hop. It doesn't really tell us that much on the can about it. Uh, it's not a very common one. But let's crack it open, see what it's gonna be like. Well, straight away I'm opening it and we get a bit of, it's quite lively there. You can see it's sort of almost exploded in the can there, which is unusual because usually it's fairly quiet when, when you open a can. But let's get it in a glass and see what it's all about. I mean, yeah, straight away I'm getting lots of tropical aromas. It smells pretty good. Yeah, I mean, we're looking we're looking like your traditional um, IPA, apart from obviously the, the idiot pour that we've done there with a free finger head. But you can see that lovely, orangey, hazy looking colour. Um, and let's get some aromas. Yeah, I'm getting just a real sort of punch bowl of tropical aromas. So you're getting pineapple, you're getting peaches in there and mangoes. There's a little bit of sort of like sharp sort of lemons and grapefruits in there. It smells really fresh and really fruity and also quite light it's it, it smells certainly more less stone fruit and more the citrus fruits but let's give it a try shall we cheers everyone yeah that's really good that's probably why a track are more expensive and you can't get hold of them because their beers are really good i mean i've only had a few but they have always been good and I think I need to drink more of them to really sort of, almost sometimes you want to drink more of them to find a bad one, you know, so you can sort of analyse how good it is. It's just not luck each time, the ones that you've had. But the, remember, one thing I remember about the last one, it had a lovely soft mouthfeel, pillowy even, and this is very much like this. It's got a lovely body on it, obviously got a fair amount of oats in, in the mix there. It reminds me very much of those sort of beers the New Zealand hops seem to have this characteristic. So you've got that sort of, like your Nelson Sauvins and even your sort of, is it Lotus? No, it's called, is it all, yeah, Lotus hops. Again, not used that, that regularly, but those sort of hops, very fresh and green tasting sort of fruit. So you're getting gooseberries, you're getting white grape, you're getting a bit of melon in there. Very sort of fresh, 
I don't want to say watery sort of fruits, but you know what I mean, sort of green fruits like those that are very zesty and very, very sort of almost sharp a little bit. So you're getting all of those sort of flavours in there. There's a lot of citrus and lemon, you know, your lemons and limes and your grapefruits. And there's a little bit, I mean, from the aromas, there's not, I'm not getting huge amounts of a peach and mango and pineapple. You're not getting loads of that. It's very citrusy, lemons, limes, orange, a little bit, slight little, little bits of sort of tangerine, sweet orange in there. But you're also getting a lot of that sort of gooseberry and, and, and grape, um, melon. It's really, really, um, yeah, it's got that nice sharp zestiness. It's the sort of drink that's a real, to me, it's the real sort of opposite of when you get those sort of stone fruit flavours of the sort of peach, mango, apricot. It's almost on the other side of that where you're more grapefruit and, and citrus flavours. There's a little bit of pine needles as well on the back end. You know, that that pininess is, is, is in there, but it's not, it doesn't overpower it. It doesn't make it too... So, you know, when you talk about pine flavours, you usually talk about pine and then and bitterness in the same sort of sentence. This has got that sort of pine needle sort of flavour there and gives it that sort of earthiness, that sort of, you know, that sort of grassiness about it, which is very characteristic of the whole flavour, really. Very green, not in, a, not in a green as in new, but green as in a very fresh, zesty, citrusy sort of flavour and, and the pine needle sort of just the flavour sort of just really sort of accentuates that a little bit more. It's it's very characteristic of these New, New Zealand beers. I mean it's 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 really good. It's, it tastes like a quality product as well. I mean it's a strange thing to say because a lot of craft beer tastes like a quality product especially if you've been used to drinking your sort of uh, your cheap sort of mass-produced lagers um, but there's something about this it it tastes like it's been well made. It's got everything down from the from the initial aroma to the body to the flavour, the mouthfeel, the looks of it. Everything just screams premium product, um, and it just it just it you can just tell that it's been put together really really well by top class brewers. It's a cracking beer. Let's get some scores. Okay, the scores are in for the track brewery from Manchester. Seems so long ago, IPA. Seems so long ago since I last had a track beer. This has got Ruwaka and Mose. Ruwaka, you know, watch out for the hop. It's obviously, I think, it, I'm sure it is a New Zealand hop. It sounds very sort of New Zealand-esque. Um, and it has those sort of very New Zealand sort of characteristics. So firstly, the aroma. Yeah, I mean, the aroma's... It's so much when you first open the can, you get all these sort of tropical aromas come in, come to the forefront. But then when you when you when you inspect it closely with your nose, sort of thing, you're getting a lot more of those sort of green grape, gooseberry, melon sort of aromas. There's still some of those tropical aromas in there, a little bit of pineapple, a little bit of um, mango. But the dominant aromas of those and the the uh, the, the green fruits, but also quite a lot of citrus lemons and limes in abundance tiny little bit of sort of sweet tangerines and grapefruit um that they're the big sort of aromas but it's very pungent it's very very inviting to want to taste it so i'm giving it 14 for aroma appearance well i mean it i feel like it's like a broken record when i talk about appearance because some of these just look stunning i mean this is a lovely sort of straw colored got a slight sort of peachy orange sort of aroma um, aroma um, appearance to it lovely lacing of the glass there it looks like a solid solid ipa and it looks pretty good i'm giving it an eight out of ten flavor wise well it's very much on that sort of New Zealand flavour profile in that it's got those sort of green, it's very green, it's got pine needle flavours in it, but it's got a lot of grape, white grape and gooseberry. 
Then you also get quite a lot of grapefruit in there, but it's not the sort of, it's not overly uh, sharp. It's very much like a pink grapefruit, little sweetness of grapefruit flavors. And then that's all sort of wrapped up in this sort of lemons and limes as well. You're not, you're getting a little bit of mango in there, but mango, and you're not really getting much in terms of pineapple. Mango, maybe a bit of peach in there as well. There's a lot going on in this beer. It's difficult to get your head around, but really you're getting a lot of those I think I think the sort of citrus and grapefruit with a little bit of pine needle sort of flavour is really sort of is really the sort of big um, flavour with this, and I think it's very very much like a New Zealand style IPA that that we're seeing lots more of now. I think there's a real taste for them. I think that that people want that sort of that real nice, almost like. A you know, your Cabernet Sauvignon sort of, uh, you know, you get that sort of feeling with this. It's very much got that slightly sort of grapey flavour that really sort of um, is quite different to sort of a lot of your sort of your traditional, uh, or your, I say your traditional, but your more sort of traditional hops like your Citras and your Mosaics on their own, you know, and your Simcoe's and, and those sort of ones. There's definitely these new world hops that definitely bring something different. So I'm giving it 35 for flavour. Value for money. Well, as I said, this is quite expensive, £5.80. But as I said earlier, it's, it tastes like a premium product. The lovely softness of the of the mouthfeel, it's, it's got a lot going, a lot in there. There's obviously a lot of hops because the flavour and the aromas are really sort of big and punchy in your face. Um, so although I can't give it too high a score, I don't think I'm going to knock it back too little, even though it costs nearly six quid, but I'm giving it a seven out of ten. And then my overall experience. Well, this is a really good beer. I mean, as I said, tracks seem to do very good beers. It, it feels, it tastes like a premium product. Looking, it aromas like a, it just smells good and it, it looks good and it just tastes good. And it, it's just a perfect package for me. And I really do like those sort of flavors when you're getting a lot more of the grapefruit but it's not, it doesn't go into a bitterness grapefruit. It's just like a really fleshy pink grapefruit sort of flavor that I think is now, the more I drink it and as it sort of slowly warms in the glass, that's the do real dominant flavor for me. But it tastes really fresh and, and really nice, you know? So I'm giving it 15 for overall experience. So top those scores up and we very closely get near to the Iron Maiden, the highly recommended um, rated beers, but it's a 79. So it's a white snake beer, top level white snake beer. What could it be? It has to be the still of the night. So if you're sitting there in the still of the night right now and you're thinking, what should beer should I buy next? Check out this one from Track. It's pretty good. Give you a quick show of the can again. Tracks seem so long ago, Rewaka and Mosaic. Now, has anyone else had Rewaka hops? Anyone else recommend a good track beer? Because I think next month I'm gonna to have to try and find another track uh, beer. Um, anyone give me any recommendations, that'd be great. So until the next video, you know what you're gonna do. Keep on rocking.